Let's imagine that you have a cycled uh, fish tank uh, with a mature, well-established uh, filter. It can be canister filter, it can be a sponge filter, hang on the back fin, it doesn't matter what kind of filter here. You, you have a mature, well-established fish tank and for some reason you don't want to keep fish in it uh, temporarily for now. Maybe it's your uh, quarantine tank, maybe it's your breathing tank, maybe it's a tank that you're preparing to introduce some new arrivals in the recent future. So in any case you want to keep a cycled uh, mature tank. One big problem is that your uh, beneficial bacteria, your anaerobic bacteria in your filtration as well as in your fish tank they will only be alive and they will only be active as long as uh, there is ammonia to feed them so they will feed on ammonia that comes from fish excrements from fish poop and if there is no ammonia because there is no fish in your fish tank uh, your beneficial bacteria are likely to die off within a couple of days well uh, there is always a whole bunch of different anaerobic bacteria in your system. There's not just one species of anaerobic bacteria that lives in our aquariums in fresh water. There are always different species. Some of them will survive longer than others but in general you're likely to lose most of your beneficial bacteria within a few days if they don't receive enough ammonia to, to survive so they need to be fed with ammonia to be active and to, to live. If there is no fish in your system there's no ammonia and most likely you're going to lose your beneficial bacteria. So uh, what are you going to do in order to uh, keep this uh, beneficial bacteria alive? And this is what we are going to talk about in this video. So I'll start with an example. Uh, this is my quarantine slash uh, breeding tank. It's uh, about 150 liters, so it's not large enough to keep fish there. Uh, long term so I just use it to quarantine new fish or if I have some breeding pairs I, I would uh, put in this tank more recently we had a breeding pair of Altum angel fish in this tank uh, they spawned uh, three times and they've eaten the eggs all three times so I, I put them back to the display tank so they would uh, uh, have some rest and they will regain forces bef before spawning again and now this tank is empty but it has, uh, well, it, it's a cycle tank. Uh, I've had he fish here for a relatively long period of time. It has a mature biological filter, canister filter, filled up with a biological media, really mature bi biological media. It also has some plants, not, not many plants. It has some Christmas moss on, on the driftwood. It has some Amazon frog beads and uh, it has some potos plants growing with their roots in water. and. All three of these uh, species of plants are doing quite well, they're growing well, so they, they need food as well. I don't fertilize this tank, I don't add any fertilizers, so they do survive primarily on whatever comes from fish. So how, how do I um, keep this uh, fish tank um, cycled? How do I keep my beneficial bacteria here alive without fish? Well, the first thing and probably the easiest thing that you could do to keep your uh, tank cycled without fish is to add liquid ammonia. You could buy liquid ammonia at your local fish store, it's usually sold in small bar barrels and you can dose it on a daily basis uh, regularly to feed your beneficial bacteria. And because uh, as part of nitrogen cycle nitrates and uh, well nitrates will be produced by your uh, beneficial bacteria and they will feed the plants. This is the easiest thing to do but if you don't have liquid ammonia like I do, I don't have liquid ammonia at the moment. The other thing that you could do is to add on a regular basis some uh, fish food. Flake food, pellet food, whatever. The cheapest fish food will work the best because it will decompose fast. Whatever you add in your fish tank, uh, it has to decompose fast because your beneficial bacteria, they need food. If you keep them waiting for a few days for something to provide them with ammonia it might be too late so they need a constant source of food they need a constant source of ammonia so whatever you add what type of fish food you add in your fish tank it has to decompose relatively fast and i'm talking about several hours usually cheaper fish food decomposes faster so if you have some cheap flakes or some cheap fish food you can use it because 
it will degrade really fast and it will produce enough ammonia within a short period of time. Uh, I don't have any cheap foods at the moment, so I'm throwing in uh, vibrabytes from time to time, just a few every day. Uh, they decompose, probably it takes them half a day to fully degrade, to fully decompose and to produce ammonia. And that ammonia should be uh, theoretically sufficient to feed beneficial bacteria in my canister filter and to keep this uh, tank cycled and mature until I will add fish in here. So I'll just show what I'm doing. So I'm gonna add just a little tiny bunch of vibrobites. Uh, just like so. So one thing you have to keep in mind about feeding your uh, bacteria and providing them with ammonia by throwing fish food in uh, this tank is that it's not a dumping ground. Uh, from time to time you have to siphon the leftover, well all of this uh, fish food will be left over because there is no fish. It will just stay on the bottom and it will uh, decompose and rot and uh, get covered with fungi uh, as is the case with some of the older pieces of fish food that I have here. So from time to time you have to clean it to, to prevent the buildup of uh, all this uh, rotten uneaten food. Uh, the other thing that we need to keep in mind is that uh, you will only have um, as m many anaerobic bacteria as you can sustain. So if there is enough ammonia in your system, it, it will be enough to sustain relatively large colony of anaerobic bacteria. If you don't have enough ammonia because it's a lightly stocked tank or it has no fish at all, uh, you will have less food for bacteria and you will have less anaerobic bacteria. So regardless of the amount of biological media that you have in your canister filter or in your other filter, you can only sustain the colony of anaerobic bacteria that you can feed. So you, you should have enough ammonia to feed that colony of anaerobic bacteria. So in my case, I have a relatively small uh, canister filter here. It's a uh, Eheim uh, 250 Classic, and uh, it has maybe 1.5 kg of uh, biological media in there. It, it, that's not much. So they, they don't need too much ammonia. They don't need too much food. So I would throw just a small bunch of uh, Viber bites every day and that should be enough to feed to keep them fat to keep this uh, anaerobic bacteria alive because generally this is how much waste the fish that lived in this tank would produce and this is how much uh, ammonia generally uh, this amount of uh, uh, anaerobic bacteria will need to su survive and to thrive so it always depends on your tank size on your uh, stocking level on your on the size of your canister filter if you have a large canister large tank lots of fish and you empty your tank you, you remove the fish you leave the water you keep the canister working you need to add enough uh, ammonia to uh, feed all this uh, anaerobic bacteria within your canister so so far I talked about uh, uh, keeping your beneficial bacteria alive in a cycled fish tank so that's a fish tank that you want to keep cycled and later on you will add fish in there for the moment you don't even have you don't really have any fish to add in there so what about keeping your uh, mature uh, biological filter cycled without a fish tank let's imagine you are moving houses or you don't have space to keep this fish tank in here so you have to empty the fish tank you have to remove all the water but you would like to keep your canister cycled you would like all the beneficial bacteria inside of your canister to stay alive and you don't have a other tank any other tank where you can actually put this uh, canister in order to keep your bacteria alive so what you can do in that case in that case you can use uh, instead of your tank a bucket of water it's uh, preferable if you take this water from your tank you can put it somewhere up maybe on a chair like this or on a table and I'm using my Fluval 06 canister as an example um, I don't have uh, the pipes here but anyway I uh, hope you can understand what I mean so you you will need to put your 
recycled canister underneath this bucket of water and you need to put your intake and outtake pipes into that um, uh, bucket and you switch it on so basically you are replacing the tank with a bucket of water uh, your canister will uh, be still cycled it will work in this uh, limited uh, uh, amount of water and you will be feeding this bucket with ammonia so you can either add liquid ammonia which will be the best solution or you can uh, keep on dosing some fish food on a daily basis yes that's a, a bit more work to do because you need to uh, maintain these conditions within this bucket you can't just let it run on, on its own because it will get filled with all this uh, dirty uh, fish food and uh, the conditions will be much more unstable within this bucket of water as compared to a larger fish tank but this can be a temporary solution you can um, keep your uh, beneficial bacteria life within your canister for a few days using this me method uh, you can probably sustain it for a week or even longer if you uh, keep on constantly maintaining the situation inside of that bucket ensuring that the water doesn't go bad and ensuring that you don't uh, throw too much fish food into that bucket and uh, afterwards when you need to introduce this canister cycled canister back to your fish tank you can do it straight away you will have already beneficial bacteria to start nitrogen cycle in your new tank and you don't need to go through all the fishless cycle and so on and other um, elements of nitrogen cycle that you would otherwise have to do so these are some of the methods i would use to keep my cycled media alive and uh, to keep my beneficial bacteria active without actually without having to start everything from a new so i hope this video uh, is useful and probably it will be useful for beginners uh, because a lot of people do not realize that they can actually keep their cycled uh, tank cycled without fish but you need to do these simple steps in order to feed your uh, beneficial bacteria while your, uh, your fish tank is without fish and before you will introduce fish into that fish tank you don't need to empty your tank you don't need to empty your canister if you believe that you're going to be using it uh, in the near future yes if you know that this for example this particular tank in my case will stay empty without fish for half a year it doesn't make sense to go through all this trouble i would empty the fish tank i would empty the canister but because i know that i will be uh, quarantining some fish in this fish tank uh, sometime soon probably in a matter of week or i will be adding some fish in here to spawn so i need to maintain it cycled that's why i will use this method well i know some people would say that you can just empty this tank and uh, you can put this uh, media into some other canister or you can put it in your other fish tank i could put it in my sump and i could later on uh, when i need to start this tank fro from from scratch i will just fill it up with clean water and i will uh, add this uh, media to a to a canister and i can start the nitrogen cycle with a cycled media that can work but uh, part of the problem is that uh, in most cases we don't have space to store this media elsewhere we don't want to clutter it in our other fish tanks or we don't have space in in our sumps and also uh, here in this cycle system we have beneficial anaerobic bacteria living not only in the canister but also on the uh, walls on the glass of our fish tank it we have it living on everything that's inside the fish tank on the plants on the driftwood so uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, anaerobic bacteria that lives in this system not only in the canister filter so that's why it's great to have the system ready any moment you want it rather than starting things from uh, a scratch right so uh, leave your comments in the comment section whether you know other methods of uh, keeping your beneficial bacteria alive without fish or whether you disagree with these methods and yeah i'll see you soon